concrete is a mixture of asphalt binder and aggregates which are used in creating asphalt pavement. Asphalt pavement is coined as a flexible pavement due to its ability to resist stress imposed by slight settlements of the subgrade without cracking. Different types of asphalt mixes are available with varying mixture proportions. These mixes are predefined by road construction requirements such as sufficient stiffness, resistance to deformation, flexural strength, good workability during application, optimum durability, and etc. Several types of asphalt mixes are available such as mastic asphalt concrete, cutback asphalt concrete, cold mix asphalt concrete, warm mix asphalt concrete, and hot mix asphalt concrete. The focus of this paper and the most common type of mix used for pavement is the hot mix asphalt concrete or HMAC. HMAC is composed of heated asphalt cement mixed with aggregates at 148 degrees Celsius. HMAC can be classified into different types of aggregate mixes, dense graded, open graded, and stone matrix. We are here with Engineer Antonash Aguno, a, a graduate of Capital University. He has been working with the company for 27 years and has sufficient knowledge about the company. So, why are you here to set up the plant? Why are you here to find the location? The company is the company that has been using the spots for the source of the aggregates. The most important thing is the source of the aggregates. The most important thing is the source of the aggregates. The most important thing is the source of the aggregates. The most important thing is the source of the aggregates. Mayroon kaming monitoring, di ba, sa quality control. Kaya yan ang kailangan namin sa quality control. Mayroon kaming laboratory tips siya. Mayroon kaming monitoring. Yung laboratory tips, pag from design to one, tinitisting nila. Pag actual batsing naman, pag yung finish product, tinitunan nila ng support, tinitisting ng laboratory. To check, di ba, na tama ba yung nasa quality ba yung maling tama ba? Sokor Construction Corporation was incorporated in 1983 by the major stockholders and owners of Kimwa Construction and Development Corporation or KCDC and FT Sanchez Construction or FTSC. Both KCDC and FTSC are now its affiliate companies. The company is a category AAA construction company that specializes in horizontal civil works. It has branches in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, making it highly capable in completing projects anywhere in the Philippines. Ever since, Socor Construction Corporation has worked with international construction companies such as TOA, Taisei, Kajima, Toyo, Hanjin, Interbeton or Ham Dredging, John Holland, Anderson, and China Water. It has an excellent record as a team player in all its projects and completed them on or ahead of time. Okay, good morning. We're here today with Engineer Corpulia. We, a technical engineer graduate from Southern Leiden, was here to talk about what are the steps of asphalt concrete. So, actually, the first step of the program. So, first step, to value sa stock file natin, ito to baklasin ang stock file natin, just one, three, three, four. Ang value sa ito stock file, madal din sa concrete. Hot mix asphalt is produced in a manufacturing plant that distributes, mixes, and heats aggregate in the liquid asphalt cement to produce a material that satisfies the specific mix design and job mix formula or JMF. The JMF ensures that the hot mix asphalt produced will provide the design performance characteristics of that particular mix, such as its durability, stability, rut resistance, skid resistance, and so on. There are two basic types of hot mix asphalt plants the batch plants and the drum mix plants. Batch plants produce hot mix asphalt in individual batches, while drum plants produce hot mix asphalt in one continuous operation. 
Both types of production plants produce the same hot mix asphalt, and a mix produced in one will perform the same as a mix produced in the other. Soccer Construction Corporation in particular uses batch plants to manufacture their products. Aggregates such as recycled asphalt pavement, crushed stones, gravel, and sand are stored in a stockpile. These are then to be fed to the first part of the batching plant called the cold bins. Aggregates are then transferred into the drying drums where the aggregates will be dried and heated before the asphalt cement and other chemicals are mixed to it. The aggregates then move up to the tower through an elevator. A batch control device is run by an operator who inputs on the computer the type of product that needs to be mixed and how much mix is needed. When the start button is pressed, the different inputs then go into the mixer at the necessary doses. An emission control system is used to filter fine sand and dust particles from the exhaust air. Add mixtures according to the specifications of the customer are injected. Finally, the mixture is placed at the storage silo until it is time to load onto the trucks for the paving jobs. Several hazards are associated to the production of hot mix asphalt concrete, which may be detrimental to the health of those who are present while it is being manufactured. In order to prevent these hazards, precautionary measures such as wearing steel toe shoes, protective clothing, hard hat, safety goggles, face mask, and safety gloves should be worn when present in the manufacturing of the product. Also, standard operating procedures and safety precautions set up by the batching plant must be followed in order to minimize accidents. Following the manufacture and safety requirements, the hot mix asphalt concrete is now ready for installation. Before paving operations start, all paving equipment are required to be checked for compliance with the specifications and the quality control plan. Check for petroleum leaks that could contaminate the asphalt concrete mix. Necessary preparations are needed before the placement of the asphalt. This includes the thorough cleaning of the surface, then cleaning it uniformly with the right amount of tack coat. Prior to the placement, the mix will be transported to the site using a haul truck. Haul trucks containing the mix should be constantly checked and protected from adverse weather conditions and foreign materials. As the truck arrives at the site, the mix will be checked again if it conforms to the specifications and standards. The first portion of the placement of asphalt is laid down, which is done with an equipment called a paver. A paver has two major components, the tractor and the screed. The tractor is the prime mover while the screed is the working tool which spreads the hot mix asphalt concrete into pavement. The second portion of the installation is compaction, which must be done within a finite period. This period is referred to as the time available for compaction or TAC. The TAC differs based on environmental considerations, mix properties, and mix temperature. The speed of compaction must match the speed of paving for optimum efficiency. One of the main parameters that must constantly be considered when dealing with hot mix asphalt concrete is temperature. When loading the material into the covered trucks, the mix must not be lower than 180 degrees Celsius and the temperature drop of the mix must be minimized. The longevity of the asphalt concrete is also considered as a limitation of the material for it must be used immediately after manufacturing and it cannot be used if the hot mix cools prior to the application. There are also several short-term and long-term hazards present in manufacturing and applying hot mix asphalt concrete due to its high toxicity and temperature. The use of hot mix asphalt concrete for road pavement proves to be fast, 
economical, and efficient in the construction process. Since hot mix asphalt's application utilizes trucks, there is no need for additional formwork or reinforcements. In addition, asphalt pavement would be immediately usable after the installation without needing to wait for curing time, unlike concrete pavement. Hot mix asphalt concrete is the most commonly used type of asphalt mix due to its flexibility, weather resistance, and ability to repel water. Hot mix asphalt is also recyclable. That reduces the total costs over the life cycle of the road, the waste produced from the old pavement, and the need to source raw materials. The approximate cost of the asphalt mix per metric ton is 3,300 pesos. The use of delivery services within Metro Manila costs around 3,600 pesos per metric ton. Outside of Metro Manila, an additional 5 pesos per kilometer per metric ton charges apply. The laying and compacting costs 950 pesos per metric ton. Socor Construction Corporation also provides stack coating for gravel, concrete, or asphalt road surfaces. Stack coats are necessary chemicals applied before so that the asphalt mix will adhere to the road surface. Available tap coat for gravel road surfaces is MC70, costing around 12,000 pesos per drum. Tack coat for asphalt or concrete surfaces, SS1, costs around 11,000 pesos per drum. Each drum contains 200 liters.